Mike Wolf is known for collecting fascinating items. But one area that personally fascinates him is bicycles, especially vintage ones. This is one of my favorite bikes, and I've never put tires on it just because I want it to remain archaic looking. But this is a Schwinn auto cycle. Now look what's happening here, dual headlights. Okay, you got dual headlights. This is a bomb again yeah. with a green marble on it that's inscripted with Schwinn. Yeah. And then the fork, notice how the fork comes all the way up past the head tube into here on the top nut. So this is what they call a double duty front end. It was an overbuilt front fork. And then the tank is hanging. So they call this a strap tank. And this is called a cantilever tank. So it's a teardrop tank. It's not flat across the bottom. Right. It's again, sweeping, sweeping. But look at the seat. Big leaf spring here, and then a suspension inside of the seat tube. So look at this. Wow. So yeah, yeah. they called this a floating saddle or a pogo yeah. saddle, but just for them to make something like right. this elaborate for a child, <laughs> yeah. it's so incredible. You know, it's so incredible. And this is what gets me going. This yeah. kind of, and see crossbar speedometer. See, there's a speedometer right, right. built into this cast aluminum piece here. So you've got your horn button, you've got your light button right here. Everything's at your fingertips, just like it is today. You know, everything's just like it is. It's today. funny how it goes in cycles. It's like good ideas, and yeah. then probably for the sake of like cost or whatever, it goes away, and then it comes back. I think that's where away, the statement comes, comes from. You know, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. Right. You know, there's no yeah. reason to reinvent <laughs> yeah. so much of this. But um, you know, for children, for small children, this is in really bad shape, but you can get the gist of oh, it. Oh wow! Look at this thing. Yeah. If you said I want a rocket ship. Yeah. And this was a yeah, little, a, probably a two, three-year-old child riding this down the sidewalk. But again, teardrop shaped, teardrop shaped, full coverage fenders. You know, look at the fender on that, full coverage. They're shaped like an airplane. There's a switch here with a light in the front. I mean, yeah. this is for like a, you know, three, three-year-old. Right. You know, Indian skirted their fenders in 1940. Look at this. What year was this, do you think? This is 30s. Okay. Look at the little embossment yeah. of this right. teardrop here. This had a teardrop on it too and metal that's gone. This is in really rough shape, obviously, but it really speaks to the time period and design of anything from trains, automobiles, motorcycles, down to tricycles. Right. You know, and that's why this stuff is so important. <laughs> <laughs>